today we're going to do roasted stuffed peppers. Um, I'll just show you the ingredients first. We have got one aubergine, a good sized one. We've got three peppers, so we've got green, red and yellow. If you've got orange as well, use an orange one if you want. Um, we've got about 25 grams of basil, fresh basil. We've got, this is 120 gram block of goat's cheese, so it's a roll, if you will. Um, we've got an onion, a brown onion. Not a right big one, so it's a medium size. We've got a garlic clove, black pepper as always. Um, ground coriander, which we're going to use about a teaspoon of. Um, olive oil, because we're going to use a little bit of that as well. And a tin of chopped tomatoes. And that's our main ingredients. I'm just going to tell you about these chopping boards. Um, I used to use wood before, and when you slice into them, you get the bacteria in the lines in. So we got like a marbly type one. Um, but the thing with these is they blunt your knives. So after a bit. So we got, we found one of these, which is any show if it's cold. Um, it says the world's best knife sharpener. And to me it is, I've used a few. And you just whack it on the side, pull down the bottom, and that sticks to your side then. And then just get your knife, throw it in, about three four times. And that's it, basically. And then just wash your knife, and then you're ready to go again. Do you want a sharp knife when you're cutting stuff like this? Um, so anyway, we'll prepare all this, and then we'll get back to you in a minute. Okay? Right, we've chopped the basil up, we've sort of cubed your aubergine, maybe just a little bit bigger. Um, we've chopped the tops off of peppers, and if they won't stand up, we've just sliced a little bit off, just so that they'll more likely stand up. We're going to put them in a dish like this, so it doesn't matter if they're just leaning over slightly. Um, we've chopped up our onion quite finely, and we're going to start now. I'm going to put our olive oil, about a dessert spoon in, a pan. And we're going to add the onion and we're going to add the chopped garlic, which is a nice brushy. Let's get this out. And then we're going to cook this for about five minutes till it goes a bit soft. Just a matter of getting all this in so it's quite small. It's, it's quite a quick dish to make this, which will take you long. And we're going to do it in the oven and finish it off so the peppers go so it's just slightly browning where the skin peels away from the side but we'll show you that when we get to it so now we've got the onion and the garlic in i'm just going to put this on quite a low heat just not not low just sort of just a little bit more than low but not not to medium and then we're just going to use a spatula I'm going to stir it round and let them go so they're slightly browning and they're slightly soft. And then we'll come back to after that. So you're talking about five minutes so that they're quite soft. And we'll see in a minute after that. Okay. Right, we've got our onion where we want it so it's gone a bit soft. It's not burned, it's gone a bit soft and it's slightly brown. And you've got your garlic as well, slightly browning. Now, I'm just going to turn that off a minute. I'm going to throw in our aubergine. And we're going to cook this for about five minutes as well on top so it just gets it down a little bit so it's going a bit soft that's what you want uh, we've got quite a big aubergine going on there there we go I'll turn it back on turn it off when you put stuff in the pan and then it doesn't stick to the bottom right. so we're just going to stir this round for about five minutes and then we'll come back to you again so I'll see you then okay this is about five minutes down the line now and your aubergine's gone a little bit softer and um, we've turned it off again because we're going to put in now our tin of fresh tomatoes that's been professionally cut by our cameraman using our implement so he's got professional now he knows what he's doing <laughs> we're going to shove that in <laughs> a lot of practice oh uh, yeah and we're going to put in a teaspoon of coriander now some teaspoons won't win but we've got a drawer full of teaspoons and we're trying that will go in so we get it in and we mount it up like that because we want plenty because we like coriander. So we'll yeah. that in. And then I'm going to put some nice brown black pepper in. Quite a good few turns of that. Because we like that as well. Because we like that as well. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're going to cook this up for about 10 minutes so it goes to like a bit of a thicker sauce. And then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. So it's not a, a long time to do this. 
Okay, so we'll get back to you in about 10 minutes. This is on like a low, sort of just in between low and medium. And we're just going to get it to go down a little bit and everything's going to be soft. And then we'll get back to you again. Okay. All right, we've got our aubergine now and it's sauce quite thick. Um, so it's softer and it's thicker. Now what we're going to do, we've cut the goat cheese in half. I'm going to add this to the pan. So we're going to give it a good snip. So we're out with your scissors again. <laughs> I'm going to chop it in. So that it's in cut up quite well. It's quite a strange taste as goat's cheese. I don't like it on it all, but in dishes it's very nice. So we put half of that in. And we're gonna put a chopped basil in. Just get it all in. And then we're gonna stir it around for a couple of minutes with the heat on. So that it all blends in. And the cheese will go quite stringy then. You want the cheese in every little bit because we're going to stuff this in the peppers. So we'll just give it a couple of minutes. It could be up to five minutes just to get your cheese, but not longer than that, I wouldn't have thought. So we'll get back to you in a couple of minutes when the cheese has just disappeared slightly. And then we'll go from there. You can smell it now coming in. Okay. Right, your basil has sort of shriveled down into it now, and the goat's cheese has gone down pretty much, so it's all mixed in. What we're going to do now, we're going to turn that off. And then, we're going to get to the peppers. Now we get our olive oil, we put a little bit in the bottom of the dish. And then you're simply going to pick up your pepper in your hand like that. And you're going to get the olive oil from the bottom, so you don't get it all over you as well. And then, do it all the way around. And then you're going to do that with the other peppers as well. Stand it up, ready to stuff it, and we'll get back to you in a minute when we've done that. Okay? Yeah. As well, we've kept the lids, and we're just going to do the lids as well. So we've olive oiled everything up, and we're going to bob them in there so they can cook separate as well. Now we're going to stuff the peppers with your mixture. Which we're not going to do with it. Just get that one out and Let's get a good amount each pepper. So I'll just do one and show you what we're doing and we're not wasting your time. So I'm going to do that. You're going to do this with each one. Get it up to top. I think sometimes you can get four peppers with this mixture depending on how big your peppers are. So you've got that and then you get your goat's cheese and you're going to just snip some goat's cheese on the top. Maybe about four little bits. Let's just get it on. Um, so that's like your top flavouring. And there are a little bit more on that side as well and then they go in the oven like that and they're going in the oven on a 180 degrees on the middle shelf for about 25 minutes but I'll show you what happens when we get them in the oven and when we get them out so this is what your pepper is and you're going to do that with the other two um, and then they'll go in the oven okay right we've got them ready and we're going to just bob them in the oven like this on the 180 like we said middle shelf and they might be 20 25 minutes and then they're going to go slightly blackened and it's skin going to peel away so I'm just going to put them in now for that and then we'll get back to you and we'll tell you the exact time that we use this is a fan assisted oven so it will cook quicker than an ordinary so you've got to watch them okay right cooking peppers is an exact science um, we've done it for about three quarters of an hour because we've messed about opening the oven to make sure they're done how we want them to be and now they are I'll show you what you want it so if you take them out like this and you've got your skin is blistering so if you see where it's coming away, if I turn it around there might be a better view. If you see the yellow one and it's just coming away. So you don't want to burn them, you just want it so the skin's blistering and coming away. And the little chai bit on the top is really good as well. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to just serve them, take one out. You can put the lid on top if you want because you know they cook. But don't cook them with the lids on because they won't cook through. You've got to do the lids separate. And I would do this one of them or two of them depending. With some of this, we found this garlic bread, three teas and garlic flatbread from Asda and that's really good so we'd cut a portion of that out and we'd have it with a proper side salad with olives on and basil and olive oil and um, cider vinegar dressing as well but I'll show you the dressing on the next one and some grated ginger of course you've got to have that on a salad okay